from Day Real Fitness with another nutrition tip. And today I'm posing a challenge to you. One of the major topics of conversation in our facility is breakfast. Almost every athlete or client that walks through the door gets asked by one of our trainers what they had for breakfast. And usually we can tell how they're going to train based on their answer. So what's the typical American breakfast? Let's think of some foods that are commonly associated with breakfast. Bagels, cereal, toast, waffles, pancakes, all of these processed carbohydrates that conventional wisdom has you believe will give you energy throughout the day, but actually has the opposite effect. Your breakfast should start your day off, get you on a track to have a good mental day, a good physical day, high energy levels, set you up for success for whatever your ventures may be, whether it be work, training, athletic events, school, your breakfast is going to set you up on track to take care of those things. So what type of foods are we talking about when we're talking about having a good breakfast? Well, we talk about it all the time, protein. A protein-rich breakfast is the first step. Having a good source of protein, whether your goal is to lose weight, lose body fat, increase muscle mass, having a large piece of protein in the morning is going to help you do that. So what does that mean? What is a large piece of protein? Well, let's think about it. What do you consider a healthy meal? Maybe a piece of fish. Maybe a piece of beef, some steak or some burgers, and maybe some turkey or chicken, some type of poultry. All of these things are considered great sources of protein and would all be great for breakfast. We'd also recommend having a good source of fat. The easiest one is probably nuts. Cashews, walnuts, macadamia nuts, Brazil nuts. All of these types of nuts are great sources of fat in the morning for breakfast. Remember, a peanut is not a nut. But a meat and nuts breakfast is the simplest way to get a good breakfast in. So what is the breakfast challenge that we're posing? Well, the Gabriel Fitness Breakfast Challenge is simply this. The next seven days. If you haven't eaten breakfast yet today, start right now. If you've already had breakfast, start tomorrow. But for the next seven days, have a good solid breakfast. A good source of protein. One of those things we talked about before. A good source of fat. If it's not nuts, if you don't like nuts, berries will do the trick. Fruit is okay. Avocados. Some good oil, coconut oil or olive oil, also fall into those good fat categories. So a good source of protein and a good source of fat. Give it a solid try. Give us seven days, that's all we're asking. Every day, get up, maybe a little bit early, have a good source of protein and a good source of fat. And here's the promise that I'm making to you. If you don't feel better, if you don't have increased mental focus, increased energy levels, if your athletic performance, your performance at work doesn't improve, I guarantee you that my boss, Vince Gabriel, will buy you an unhealthy breakfast. That's right. Vince Gabriel was promising to buy you pancakes or an egg McMuffin or donuts or whatever you want. But try it for seven days. You have to send us your food journal and give us the honest effort because I guarantee you, you will feel better. And if you don't, my man Vince is going to hook you up with some pancakes. If you have any questions, email me, Tom at GabrielFitness.com. You can also send us those food journals. Seven perfect days worth of breakfast. I'll guarantee it'll help you out. If you have any questions, hit me up. If not, we'll see you next week.